Hare Krishna. The dissolution of the ego is not self-destruction. It is the means to self-realization. We all have an ego which enables us to, which makes us think that we are right. And we, by the strength of the ego, we take decisions, we form opinions and we throw our weight around. Now the, the concept of the ego is often talked about in negative terms where a person who is very proud or very arrogant is said to be egoistic. And the whole process of spiritual growth centers on rejection of the ego. Of course, this ego refers to the false ego, wherein we think of ourselves as the body and based on our bodily attributes, we think of ourselves as great. Now, the process of spiritual realization does not mean that we have to reject our ego per se. The ego refers to the sense of I-ness, I am. But who I am, regarding that we have a existential misconception. Whereas we are spiritual beings, we mistake ourselves to be material creatures. And because of that, we limit our horizons, we limit our desires, we limit our aspirations to the material level. Now when we practice a spiritual life, at that time, we start recognizing the elevatedness of spiritual truths and we start pursuing those spiritual truths. And at that time, many of our conceptions of who I am and what will make me happy, these conceptions are challenged and these conceptions are falsified. At that time, especially when our conceptions come in conflict with the teaching of scripture, at that time we need to turn to scripture and learn from scripture. So Krishna talks about how if we, in 18.59 he states, if we take shelter of ahankar, ahankaram ashritya, if we take shelter of the ego, nayotsyaiti manyase, and if we think I will not fight, mithyaisha vyavasayaste, mithyaisha, our vyavasaya, our determination will become deluded, our energy will become misdirected. Prakritistvam niyokshati, Krishna does Arjuna, that you will become a puppet in the hands of material nature. And you will not move towards self-realization, you will move towards self-destruction. So our ego may sometimes give us a sense of security. Yes, I know who I am, I know what I am supposed to do and I will do it. But, uh, now that security is a shell that constricts us and we need to break it. He says when a bird is born, at that time, mm, for the bird, the shell may uh, be a source of security. But if the bird is to grow up, if the bird is to have its real life, if the bird is to fly around and live like a bird, then the bird has to break the shell. And if the bird becomes afraid of breaking the shell, then the bird will stay forever trapped as a cage. It will never have a real life. Similarly, if we stay attached, especially if we stay attached to our own conceptions of what will make me happy, then we can't experience higher sources of happiness. Now we have, all have our pet illusions. Some people think that drinking alcohol will make me happy. Others may think, oh, eating a lot of food will make me happy. Others think, oh, watching TV will make me happy. And these are all actually such trivial things. And as long as we stay attached to these things, we stay caught in petty conceptions and petty aspirations and we stay trapped in material existence. But when we open ourselves to higher experiences of happiness, that if I am a soul, then there must be higher happiness available. What is that happiness? I want to know about it. I want to pursue it. Then when we open ourselves, then and we learn to harmonize our life and according to God's will as revealed to scripture, 
then we start experiencing higher happiness. Our life gets higher meaning, higher purpose, higher fulfillment. So to the extent uh, we have to, now when we reject our ego, that doesn't simply mean reject our opinions, but we primarily need to reject our conception of what will make us happy. And when we reject that conception and we turn towards the absolute truth and accept that by pursuing the absolute truth, I can become happy. By serving the absolute truth, I can become happy. And just open ourselves to that experience. Then we will see that we will rise to higher levels of happiness. We will see that we will rise to greater levels of fulfillment in our life. So the rejection of the ego in terms of having to abandon our, our ideas of what will be enjoyable, that we shouldn't see it as self-destruction. If we wed ourselves too much to our own conceptions of what will make us happy, then we will, be, we will, uh, we will actually feel giving that up as self-destruction. But it is not self-destruction. It is the pathway to self-realization. Just as breaking the shells of the egg is the way for the bird to be bird lit to become a real bird and to realize its potential to fly and live like a real bird. Similarly, for us to give up our conceptions of what will make us happy is the price for us to live in our true nature, in honor of our true nature as souls and experience the eternal, unending, unlimited happiness that we as souls are meant to experience in our relationship with Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna.